question number seven. A spy report about a suspected car reads as follows. The car has two kilometers towards the street, made a perpendicular left turn, ran for 500 meters, made a perpendicular right turn, ran for four kilometers and stopped. Find the displacement of the car. So let's try it. So, Suppose this is y-axis, this is x-axis. Now, car runs two kilometers towards east. We can say that this is east, this is north, this is south. So car starts from here, to point two, and reaches to point A. And this is two kilometer. Now, made a perpendicular left turn. So it reaches to point B. This is 0 0.5 meter. Then ran for 500 meter, made a perpendicular right turn for 4 kilometer. Then this is point C. This is 4 kilometer. Now, we have to find out what is this question. So let's write it's a vector equation. So vector equation can be written as vector r equal to 2 i cap plus 0 0.5 j cap plus 4 again i cap. So this is equal to 6 i cap plus 0 0.5 j cap. Now, we have to find out its modulus value. So vector r modulus will be root of 6 square plus 0 0.5 square. So this will be equal to around 6.02 kilometers. So total displacement from O to C is equal to 6.02 kilometer. And now we have to find out the angle that is resultant makes with east. So let's write it as tan beta. So tan beta would be coefficient of j cap 0 0.5 divided by 6 or 5 by 16, which is 1 by 12. So we can say beta equals tan inverse 1 upon 12. Now, question number 8. A carom board 4 feet into 4 feet square has a queen at the center. The queen hit by the strider moves to the front edge, rebounds and goes in the hole behind the strider line behind the striking line, find the magnitude of displacement of the queen from the center to the front edge, from the front edge to the hole, and from the center of the hole. So first, let's draw the diagram. Suppose this is carabo. And then we have to locate the position of queen and then its movement. The size is 4 into 4. Now, queen is here. From here, it strikes this point, this point, and then it goes to this goal. So, we have to find out various values. So, let's see. Queen is here at 4. It hits front is at A. Then it goes to the hole at C. So, since law of the reflection is followed, so we draw perpendicular here, perpendicular bisector, and then we take angles. Suppose this angle is theta, this angle will also be theta. And here, this angle will be theta. And suppose this is 
N N O O is already there. So let's keep it as well. So here, this is supposed to. So we do this QN equal to two feet because total distance from M to N is four feet. This is square shape. But up to here, this N is C will be four feet. And suppose this distance is X, then this remaining distance A N will be two minus S. And this distance is also two feet from here to here. This total is four feet. Now we apply tan theta here. So tan theta will be equal to from this triangle. This is theta, this is perpendicular, and this is base. Base is equal to two feet. So we can say x upon two equal to tan theta. And also from this triangle, triangle A and C, tan theta will be two minus x divided by four. Tan theta equal to two minus x divided by four. So both equations will be equal. So we can equate x by two equal to two minus x by four. So we simplify it. So we will get x equal to two by two. Now our concern is to get OA. So OA will be equal to x square plus this is two square square root. So x is two by three square plus two square. So this will become root 40 upon nine which is equal to 2 by 3 root 10 feet. So this is OA. Now we have to find out AC. So AC equal to root of here 2 minus x square plus NC square. NC is 4. 4 square is 2 minus x. 2 minus 2 by 3. So 2 minus 2 by 3 will be 6 minus 4 by 3. So here, this is 4 by 3 to the square. So this will come out to be 4 by 3 root 10 feet. Now we have to find out OC. So this is 2 and this is also 2. This portion is 2 and this portion is also 2. So root of 2 square plus 2 square, that is 2 root 2 feet. Now, let's see next question. Here, a mosquito net over seven feet enters in a bed, which size is given, seven feet, four feet, three feet. The net has a hole at one corner of the bed through which the mosquito enters the net. It flies and sits at the diagonally opposite upper corner of the net. Find the magnitude of the displacement of the mosquito, taking the hole as origin, the length find out the length along x-axis, width along y-axis, and the vertical with z axis, write the components of the displacement vector. So let's draw the diagram. I guess. Situation will be like this. Now, suppose mosquito enters. Here, the question says, the net has a hole at the corner of the bed through which a mosquito enters the net. Suppose mosquito enters from here and it reaches, it reaches to this point, diagonally opposite. 
So we have to find out a vector equation. So vector equation will be very simple. Vector R will be equal to seven. It means seven I cap, and then taking with as perpendicular. So four J cap, and then three K cap. So components will be seven, four, three. This is X axis. This is Y axis. This is Z axis. Here information is given. Length of the bed as X axis. So seven feet feet is the length, and the width as Y axis. Four feet is the width, and three feet is the height. Now if we have to find out its magnitude. So magnitude to be modulus r that is equal to seven square plus four square plus three square. So that will be equal to root seventy four feet. And components I I told you x component, y component, and z component that is seven feet, four feet, and three feet. Now, question number 10. Suppose A is a vector of magnitude 4.5 units, do not. What is the vector 3A and minus 4? So, if 4.5 unit is a vector, which is do not. So, let's try vector. Let's suppose it. This is vector 4. Zero. Magnitude is 4.5 do not. If we put, if we make it triple, then it will remain do not. Only its magnitude will increase. So, so it will be like this, and its magnitude will be three times. 4.5 till it will remain due not. Now minus 4a, it means this time its direction will be just opposite to it because of negative sign. It will be like this, means it will become due south and its magnitude will be 4 times 4.5. Unit. So that is our answer. Let's go to the next question. Question number 11 says two vectors have magnitude 2 meter and 3 meter. The angle between them is 60 degrees. Find the scalar product of the two vectors, the magnitude of their vector products. So scalar product is given by vector A dot vector B equal to modulus a modulus b cos theta so we have to find out a dot b so 2 into 3 into cos 60 degree. cos 60 is 1 by 2 so answer is 3 unit or 3 meter and now we have to find out a cross b vector a cross b is equal to I, J, K, sorry, because components are not given, so we must write like this, modulus A cross B equal to modulus A times modulus B times sine theta. We put the values, modulus A is 2 into 3, into sine 60 degree. Sine 60 degree is root 3 by 2. 2 into 3 into root 3 by 2. So 2, 2 will cancel out and we will get 3 root 3 meter. And that is our answer. Thank you for watching.